expand them. Yeah. Or talk to down here in the uh, Span Am one. Yeah. Doug Strong, if you know Doug, he's a master shoemaker. Okay. Shoes. Cobbler. So he, I had friends of mine who had bought jack boots that were a little constricted. Did you guys bring any he's able blinks? to like either open them up. I'm literally having this. Oh, you're having? Okay. Well, no, I'm trying to get. Open them up and then you can put a shank in them. So oh, you need a little more fire. Well, no, I want to do a little skirmish. Yeah. And he does like oh. soles too. He, yeah, yeah, he sold. I, mean, I got to get these done. You got to look for Lorenzo or you want to find blanks? Oh, no, no. I'm just seeing who has blanks. We're going to dress good. them up as VC and oh, man, that'd be do cool. a little Very thing. nice. Wow. I came from Kazakhstan. I had a, took it like two months from the Middle East. So then I wanted to ask you, because I heard you say from Ukraine, you get a supplier in Ukraine. Yeah. Is it yeah. a legitimate stuff or just copied stuff? It's all reproduction. Well, all they sell some original, but it's mainly reproduction. So stuff. Ukraine. So is there a problem yeah. now with yeah. Ukraine at war? Sorry, so, guy. I'm so sorry yeah, to cut yeah, you guys off, know, man. Let me know if, it, if the thing's going to go. Um, so there was at the beginning. So right when the war began in February, there was an issue with, you know, Nobody knew how far the Russian advance would go. Right, They're right. located in Zephyrizia, yeah, which is not quite eastern Ukraine, but along the the river there, the Dnieper, Dnieper. Yeah, I think it's off of the Dnieper. Yeah, so it's not quite you know like in Donetsk, but it's not you know it's western about, Ukraine either. It's about what twenty miles from that um, power station. Yes, that there's a, a power station in the news now that's been uh, taken over by Russian forces, and it's. It's close to that town. So we were really worried, and they were too. They fled when the war began. Most of them went to western Ukraine to, you know, stay safe because they yeah. didn't know how far the advance was going to go. They thought they were going to overwhelm mm. the country in weeks. Um, so when things kind of settled down and settled into the, the static warfare we're kind of seeing now, they all went back. They And we were really skeptical at first, like, are they doing this for the Western people who are buying this? Like, mm -hmm. we feel really bad if right, right. they went back to work and the place gets shelled and, you know. But it, they're they're human too. They need money as well. Yeah, yeah. And us yeah. injecting cash into the economy to buy right. acting items. Sure. For them is their source of income. Right, right. So. Sure, that's well. interesting. That really, is, to me, I mean, to hear that they're still selling, making reproductions, just enters a war. We put an order in June first, and it just arrived at our friend who lives in. Bridge, uh, no, Bridgeview. North Lake. North Lake. It came in yesterday, so it took about a month and a half. Really, damn. Yeah, Wow. Good morning, good morning. Hello. How are you guys? All right, all right. Looks like we can read a little Russian. Hello. Yeah. My, 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 my grandpa had one of these. It's funny. Yep. Oh my god, you will have the... Wow. The rolling papers? Yeah, well, the... the, the, the yes, the uh, Bellamore Canal. But, oh my god, my grandpa used to smoke so, those. We ordered them from, so before the war, you could get Bellamores from Russia. I don't think they make them anymore, right? No, they do. Really? Yeah. They come now in a modern tin with like the, a modern They used to be in like those like square. Yep. You can still get them in the squares. They also come in metal tins, but they all I'm have sure now the can, modern. I'm sure you can get them in Russian stores. So no. my place, I live in Milwaukee. They used to sell them, but it was kind of like a no, tobacco just, license. So I used like, to you know. live in Milwaukee. I went to UW Milwaukee. Yeah. Oh, okay. I live about five blocks south of UW, UW Milwaukee. I used to live on the Oakland and uh, Capitol. Okay, so you're a little you know, bit further north. The building right north. on the corner. Yep. Oakland and Capitol. Yep. I know exactly where that's at. That's too funny. I'm on Maryland, which is a little further south. Maryland and north. So maybe about a mile south. Of that. That's too funny. Um, but there's a. I don't know if it was there, but there's a really good Russian store in Oakland. Yeah, it was for a while. It's 